Ciao guys, Terry Food here. So today we're gonna do first impression and unboxing of the Samsung Mixed Reality headset, the Samsung Odyssey, that should be the premium one of the batch, and a little comparison with the Oculus and the Vive over here. So let's go with unboxing. Samsung Odyssey. I already opened it, so oh, I'm not gonna need the knife. That box is just a cardboard box. You will expect the Google Cardboard inside, but it's not, so not very premium. Here we have the double A battery, double pack, so for our controllers, warranty, the cloth to clean the lenses and use the manual over here. We're not gonna read it right now. And then pretty steer forward. We have everything inside, so the controller, I believe, and the headset itself. Nothing else in the box, let's take it out. Here we are, let's start with the controllers. One, so we have the ring with like you can see the ALID, trackpad, the stick, menu button and windows button and the Samsung brand. These are a little different from the other for mixed reality. And here we have the second one. So we have a left and a right. We can compare very fast with the Vive and the Oculus. Here you are. Let's put it on the side and let's open the headset itself. So Samsung Odyssey, we have the two cameras, the shiny part is all art plastic but feel pretty like premium and heavy. We have the two paddings that's gonna give all the weight on the forehead instead of the top of the head and we have the dial to close it or open it on our head and the two AKG headphones with special audio I would say. Uh, so there are two microphones, uh, one and two, and the volume rocker, and adjustment for the IPV, so for distance of your eyes. And we have this nose padding that is pretty, probably pretty useful because um, it's not so nice with the Oculus. And we have the two lenses. That's it. Samsung Odyssey here, and the two controller. Okay, let's talk about specs. So, uh, the Samsung Odyssey has two AMOLED display, of course from Samsung, 1600 by 1440, so more resolution than the other mixed reality headset that are 1440 by 1440, and noticeably more resolution than the Oculus and the Vive that has 1080 by 1200. So you can really, really read better without your eyes crossing. Uh, that's a good thing. They use all the same lenses, are friendless lenses, but when in the vibe the rings are very noticeable. In this you can see a little distortion, but it, you really really have to look for it. The screen door effect is still there, so screen door effect is when you see the blacks in the middle of the pixels, and it's still there but less noticeable than the other two, and the uh, God rays are still there, but less, so much less, are like shorter, but there's some bleeding in the white when you're in the black background, uh, but so much, so much better. Also has the two cameras, inside out camera, the tracking is pretty good, it's called mixed reality, but don't expect this to be a fast true. No images passing through, they call it mixed reality because it's a big, big, big bracket that where the HoloLens and VR headset seats and everything in between. Nothing is there in between yet. These cameras are very low resolution, so even if you will be able to see through, it will be a very bad image, so you don't want that experience. It has two microphones and two AKG headphones with special audio, really good audio, less bass than the Oculus part, but they sit better on your ears, so you're more immersed. Like, there's, it covers better the audio from outside, and that's great. It's heavier than the other two, 
but on your head it's gonna be the lightest because like it's gonna sit on your forehead instead of the top of your head on the back and the nose like the vibe and so the weight is not not small at all it's actually pretty comfortable i didn't try it for a long session but we will see when you get in there's a wow effect because like it's good the screen is very good the tracking is good when you move your head and you're gonna find yourself in the cliff house right away. It's like the setup is like 15 minutes, not even, uh, when you have to start the first time and download everything. So expect even less if you have to download. What you need is a full creator update, so the last Windows update with at least a 620 integrated graphic card for a 60 hertz experience. That's good for like videos or like 360 photos and browsing the web and stuff. But if you're more on the gaming, you're gonna need the ultra experience. That's how they call it with the mixed reality ultra. And you need at least a 1050. The 1050 is very low spec compared to the other two. The Oculus needs a 1060 and uh, 5.2 but don't expect to run a good experience with a button 60 because you have to bring up the super sampling to have a good image. The uh, thing that with this is automatic. The, the image is very very good from the beginning. You don't have to change option and stuff. The field of view is exactly the same. It's uh, 110 degrees and that's good. That is not so much because with inside out tracking when the controllers are not in your field of view, they're gonna disappear and they're gonna snap there, stay there, whatever. But because your field of view is less than the view of the two cameras, you're never gonna really notice. You just, the only way to notice is like if you snap very, very fast, and I'm not doing it right now because I don't wanna crash the camera. The two rings have the LED that like, the camera used for the tracking. The tracking is very good. You can notice when you put together, they just stay there. Sometimes, even with the Oculus, uh, you see like vibrating a little. And the Vive 2, when you're far from the lighthouses, is the same. But the controller are not super comfortable. Are comfortable, more comfortable than the other mixed reality headset, but are not super comfortable. These are a little more round, but uh, at the end, like, seats a little weird. And I don't like that the stick is like slick, so like you kind of lose the grip instantly. And the button are very small, so but I'm very used to the other, so probably you just have to get used to. I expect a little more, to be honest, from the same company that makes like the Xbox and the Xbox One controller that is one of the best. These are like kind of cheap feeling, cheaper than the others. But probably they're gonna wait to have the Xbox One the best one. It's totally worth it, probably if you don't already own the Oculus and the Vive. Because the experience is still very comparable, and they're not gonna give more and more experience. If you're a gamer and you wanna game with it, take one of these two because the Steam VR is still in beta and it works, but it needs more graphic powers. But if you are more about business, more about portability, so you wanna go somewhere for work and that your cliff house ready, the cliff house is the Windows environment, so like it's Windows in virtual reality. So you have your own house, you can put furniture and everything. It's very Windows, very Microsoft way to do it. So that you can open a Word document, send email and everything. Like the great thing is like you have all your system in front of you. So if you are attracted from that, go for it. But if you're more a gamer for now, Five and Oculus are still giving the best experience for the money. Anyway, these are my first impressions. If you like the video, subscribe because you're gonna be probably the first and like a, leave a like button or a dislike button, but it's the first video, so please use that like and with maybe something in the comment below saying like, hey, it's better or it's better. I will appreciate it really.
any comments. So, ciao!